Good morning everyone or good afternoon or good evening. Welcome to Verified Soul and I hope this video finds you well. So let us today talk about the DS-260 form and this is because some of us will be selected in the DV lottery 2025 and guys by now as I'm doing this video we are remaining with some few days to the DV lottery 2025 results and to be exact it's about a month and four days that is 34 days to be precise to the release of the results and I know some of us will be successful so we know that after getting selected we are supposed to fill a form that is called the DS-260 form and why so because being selected if you didn't know and this is very important it simply means that the United States government has selected you from among many for a chance to apply for a visa that we call green card visa so this visa is not applied by anyone else the diversity visa it's not applied by anyone else but only for the selected few so they mean that you have only been given an opportunity for you to apply for this diversity visa so the next step is the actual application for the visa and for you to apply for the visa you fill the ds-264 so the ds-264 form is the form that you fill in application for the diversity visa that's why it is called the immigrant visa and alien registration form so you've known that now you've gotten selected now i want us to start talking about this ds-264 form and i know for sure that we shall do it together though i have several videos handling the ds-260 form and how to precisely complete it and besides everything as part of this video uh, i am going to discuss also about the kids that you might not have added them during the application because maybe you are not together with the other parent or you could not obtain their photos what are you supposed to do with them i'll also discuss those kids that are above 21 years of age during the time of application and you did not add them in the application and what are you supposed to do with them on the ds-264 and also i will handle those of your kids that will turn 21 years of age during the process but at the time of application they were below 21 years of age so stick around to the end of this video so the ds-260 form has several main parts and the first one of course is about your bio data your background everything regarding yourself and then after that we have the travel information about yourself and then after that we have the family background and under the family background this is where i have gotten a lot of questions and there is a reason for that and especially regarding the derivatives because there are many issues around derivatives and the first one that i want to talk about is a question that i got recently of an individual that has children above the age of 21 and of course as we know any kid above 21 years at the time of application does not qualify to be added as a derivative so you cannot add them but when it comes to filling the ds-260 form how do you go about that on the ds-260 form you will have to include every kid that you have that is the biological kid your own adopted kids and also the step kids if you have any of those you have to list them all of them on the ds-260 form and this is regardless of their age 
it will not matter how old they are. Even if they are 40 years or 21 years or 30 years, you need to include them. And you as well include all their information as the DS260 will require you to. Now, I know you have questions, but you did not add them in the initial application because they were not qualified. Then why should you add them here? So there is a benefit and that is the reason as to why they need you to add their details even if you not immigrate with them because they are not qualified. There is a reason. So you're supposed to list all of them even above the age of 21. And the benefit is that when you land in the US and you want to bring your children to the US, you can file for them the family visa. That is the visa through the family. So all the kids that you listed there, they are in their record and you will not require a lengthy process to prove that you had these kids because if they realize that you had these kids when you try to file for their visas once you're in the United States, they will definitely deport you because you provided information that is false. So you have to include all of them together with their details. So if you have five kids and three of them are above the age of 21 on the DS260, they should appear with their details. But what you will not do is you will not go ahead to create a DS260 form for them. Remember after listing all your kids, all those that qualify to be your derivatives, that is under the age of 21 and unmarried, you are supposed to as well include a DS-260 for them or fill a DS-260 for them because they will as well need the diversity visa when you move with them to the United States. Those that qualify, you'll have to create their DS-260 form because by creating a DS-260 form, that is applying for their green cards as well. So all of you as a family that qualify, you will have your green cards in the United States by simply creating the DS-260 form for everyone. But those above the age of 21, you will not create their DS-260 form. You just leave them that way because they do not qualify. And then during the interview, of course, they will go through your DS-260 form and they will ask you of the questions regarding your family. Then you will tell them and also they will see that they are above the age of 21, but you have listed them. I hope I've explained that well. But the caution is don't leave any kid, even if above 21, outside of your DS-260 form. In the initial application, you leave them out. But on the DS-260 form, you have to include them all. So the other thing about the kids is those people that during application, they did not add their kids because they were single parents and their kids were with the other partner. So if you had kids but you could not get their photos maybe because they were with the other parent or you failed to add them because you thought since you are not married, you could not add them since they are with the other parent and you cannot get access to them. And therefore you played the lottery as single and without kids. Now, how about that? In the first place, I'll just tell you frankly, that you did it wrong. Even if you are not married, you are a single parent and the kids are with the other parent, you were supposed to get their information under the consent of the other parent and apply with them because that's what you were supposed to do. So you are asking, can you add them now that you have been selected? The answer is no, you cannot add. You cannot add them in the DS-260 form because you did not add them in the initial application. And that would result to lies 
because you lied you don't have kids yet you have and that is the tricky part because they will not allow you to the united states if they come to realize that you have kids that you left out during application and now you're trying to force them in the ds-260 form it is not accepted if you can elope with that and continue as single without them realizing that you have kids then you can go successfully but rarely does that happen because they conduct thorough check on your case to get the true information about you so you should not have done that if you succeed through whichever means that you go through the the dv process without them realizing that you had kids then you can get your visa but if you try to force them on the ds-260 form to add them on the ds-260 form definitely they will catch up with you because you did not include them in the initial application that is a straightforward disqualification you will get your visa refused so even in the coming dv lotteries if you want to apply and you know you have kids even if you're not together with the other partner you ensure you include them do whichever means you can and include your kids remember including your kids does not mean that you'll have to immigrate with them no including is just providing your information truthfully after including them in the initial application then on the ds 260 form you just include them and if you are not able to immigrate with them we just indicate not immigrating with them that is the simple way if you say not immigrating with them no one will ask you of that you just continue alone and move alone but you had the information of your family on the ds-260 form that is the information of your kids that is how you are supposed to do that the other thing is about children that turn 21 years while continuing the dv process at the time of application they were below 21 years of age but as you're processing your ds-260 they turn 21. those kids as per the children act in the united states they are protected and they are considered as below 21 years of age throughout the process and you will enter with them to the united states because at the time of application they were younger than 21 years of age so even if they turn 21 they are protected and they are eligible to be admitted into the united states so you'll continue with them and that will be okay so that is just a part of the ds260 form and we shall handle everything and if you have questions about the ds260 because i know you're just about to be selected then we shall handle it bit by bit please place the questions on the comment section let us discuss this ds260 form into details let me answer every burning questions regarding it and you can as well look for the videos in my channel that i talk about the ds260 form anyway guys thank you for watching this video I know it is of great importance and if so please don't forget to do me a favor by liking the video share it with your friends let them watch as well subscribe if you are new or you are returning one but you've never subscribed and also push the notification bell on that way you get notified every time a video drops and let's meet in the next video